Hey guys, this is a follow-up video to the previous tutorial I did on how to make this lightsaber effect. This is on how I twirled it behind my back, because someone asked me how I masked it out. And so, here is my scene with the animation on this cylinder. And this one is keyframed. I frame by frame this one. Um, because it was my first attempt to just try it. There we go. Screencast is on. And this took forever. But let's move on. We're going to open up compositing. And there we will see our node setup that we made last time. If you don't know where I got this from, click the screen like right over here I'll put an annotation to the other video All right, but moving on you're gonna hit control shift and click on your video clip and then change this to viewer node because we don't want to see the effect on it it just kinda gets in the way All right. and now you want to scrub through your footage to where the lightsaber goes behind your back. Mine goes right about there. And then we're going to go from view to mask. And then hold control and right click to create a mask. And now you have to hold control while creating the mask. And you just draw out whatever portion of your actor. Oh, that was weird. Of your actor you want to mask. I'm gonna break it up so first I'm just gonna mask out the legs and then I'm gonna do the torso and finally the head. Now you could do this all in one mask and just keyframe the shape but that would be a very tedious process. It, it'd be a lot more work than you'd have to do. legs and then hit alt C to close it all right now the mask is done we're gonna give it a name call it legs and scroll through to see where our lightsaber passes next and it is going to go through my torso now we're gonna add another mask call it torso and repeat the process for my upper body C to close it. Now just keep going. We're going to add another one and just call it MISC so that I can mask out things like my arm and anything else that it might pass through that isn't really big enough to have its own mask layer name. going make the arm one a bit bigger Oop. just keep scrubbing through and there it goes through my head so add another mask ignore the stupid face I'm making And control right click to mask out again. And you don't have to be super exact with this because the mask is going so fast that no one will no really notice small errors. Goes back past the legs and there we go
And I'm about to put it back in front of my body after this. So I'm going to select it. My mask hit I there. Select all of my masks. Hit I. Click keyframe on all of them. And to select all, I'm just hitting A twice. And then the next frame over, I am going to just hit G and move the mask out of the frame. And I'm going to repeat this for all of them. Right. And now up here in our compositing window, let's go back to rendered view. I'm going to hit Shift A, Mask. Now we're going to make enough duplicates for all the masks that we made. And we have made one, two, three, four, five. Five masks. Actually, I didn't make shoulders. I don't know where that one came from. We made four masks. So, and then we're going to add in our masks. And then make an add, no, or a mix node, and change it to add. We're just going to plug our masks in. Shift D. Plug the output of that one into this one. And you probably get the idea. All right. Now all of our masks have been added together. We need to add them to our scene. And you want to add in the mask before the glare and after the blur here. And to add the mask, we're going to need an alpha over node. So shift A, alpha over. Put that here and make sure it's in the bottom input. And then you're going to change the color of the top to black and change the A value, which is the alpha, va bah, the alpha value, to zero. And you're going to take the output of your mask, the last add node in your mask, and put it in the factor. Then you're going to duplicate that by hitting Shift D. Put it up there. Once again, making sure that your lightsaber render is in the bottom input and then hold shift cut that and put that into the factor Let's move all these back just by selecting them all and hitting G all right and now our mask should work if we move to a frame where it's behind me. Oh, I forgot something very important. Render image right quick. Forgot something very important, which is that the mask is inverted right now. We have to add in an invert node so that it cuts out everything but this. All right, and there you go, you have it masked. And now you just need to go back through and do some cleanup. Let's see, right, it's back a couple frames. I think it is. Oop. Right here. You see it's masking out my head there. So you're going to want to go back to frame one or the beginning of your clip and move the mask out, hit I. And then move up to where you want the mask to come in. Move it out and hit I. because you don't want your mask to be in the scene 
at all times. And now it's just cleanup. It's not very hard to do. I think you guys get it. So um, uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, um, in the comments, leave what you think I should do next, and if you didn't understand anything, just ask me and I'll try and help you out, or someone else who's watching might be able to help you. I think that's all. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and please consider subscribing. I guess I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.